When I came to the University of Auckland in 2006, I found that there was a thriving tradition of outdoor summer Shakespeare, which had been running for some 45 years. I wasn't involved from the start because I wasn't here in 1963 uh, when Muzz produced the first one. And we started early in those days, in February, before term started. But the object was still to get the school children to come. And the object, I think, was not only to put on Shakespeare and give students some experience, but um, to make a bit of money. Then the theatre workshop to be persuaded to give back the profits on Shakespeare, which they hoped to make, in order to fund the productions for the rest of the year, which might be a bit more esoteric. Well, by and large, uh, the Summer Shakespeare is generally performed in the Old Arts Quad, which is um, at the back of Old Arts Building. It's quite a good campus for doing things in the end, especially the central quad, uh, because it's relatively silent. There aren't many silent places in the city. The location also of the production has moved around on the university grounds over the years. Uh, they've often come back to that same courtyard space that Hamlet was produced in. There have been occasions when it's been done on the lawn of Old Government House near the uh, flame tree planted by Sir George Grey. There's been a, an impulse to move the production from here to there to see what different kinds of effects can be got from different configurations of space. Early on, when Professor Sidney Musgrove uh, first began producing outdoor summer Shakespeare, it was a, a wide mix of students and people from the community around and staff. Bright, uh, interesting, energetic, uh, imaginative young directors in particular uh, used it to um, launch their own careers or, or try out new ideas of direction design uh, and quite a few of those have gone on to have significant professional careers in theatre since. This 50th season I think the play is being direct, Lear is being directed by Lisa Harrow who is a, a very successful New Zealander who has had a substantial career offshore as a film star and stage actress and she's come back to direct it. Summer Shakespeare is very dependent on having a structure that has some strong form of leadership and infrastructure. It didn't have a, an ongoing organisation which could give it um, momentum and as a result occasionally it would falter. One of the things that uh, I and another colleague uh, tried to do was to stabilise it and give it longevity that would allow it to carry through for a further 50 years. We've managed to do that, I'm very pleased. Uh, the, the Summer Shakespeare now has a trust board and an ongoing administrative organisation which can carry it through from year to year and gives it professional advice and community support. <laughs>